Hey guys, it's Ryan, and today we're going to be rooting the Samsung Galaxy V3 4G LTE. Now, this phone's a great phone, but, you know, it's just not great enough. we got to make it better. we got to do anything we can to improve it and speed it up and do the best we can to it, because that's how we are here. So, I'm going to get the setup ready, and we're going to root the HTC, the Samsung, sorry, the Samsung Galaxy V3 4G LTE. So let's go at it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is pick up your phone and turn it off. So simply just hold the power button, press power off, and agree. And just wait for it to power off. Okay, so before you start your rooting process, you're going to need a couple of things. First, of them, one of them is Odin. Now, Odin is what you're going to actually use to root your phone. But then you're also going to need your Samsung USB drivers. The TWRP.tar, which is your recovery, and BusyBox and Super User have to be put on your phones. So now we're just going to go ahead and double click on Odin. It's going to show us a screen saying, Do you want it to modify your computer? Say yes, and then you'll be into Odin. Okay, so what I did was I messed up, and let's do this again. So I already have this. Now, what you have to do is, if, I'm not sure what I explained before. So what, here's what happened. Um, Here's what you have to do. You're gonna hit PDA, select the right file. Okay, so you're gonna get the twerp recovery from one of the files uh, from a link below. Now, before you do this, you also have to get the a super user file and what else? You have to get the BusyBox files. Now, those are gonna be zipped. Keep them zipped. Now, make sure you put them on your and the root of your SD card. The root is the beginning, so it's not in a folder. It's just in the SD card. No folders, no anything. Just drop it right in, okay? So, now, your SD card actually has to be in the phone. And believe it or not, I actually forgot to put it in the phone. Wow. I even mentioned it. And I even saw the SD card was not in the phone, which is the only reason it reminded me. Okay. Wow, okay, I can't even put it in right. There we go. There we go. Okay, so it's in my phone. So you have to do this right the first time, or it will not work, and you're going to have to do this process again. So once you select it, now you're going to have to press select. You're going to have to press open, not the cancel or whatever I pressed. So once you press open, I'm just going to press cancel because it's already chosen. Make sure that auto reboot right over here is not chosen. Now, when you get your phone and plugged in, it's going to say added or removed. And if you remove it, that means you're going to have to make sure it stays plugged in. So mine was having little problems. I, I guess there was dust in it. So I just hit blew it a bit, and, there, and then it was all good. So make sure that you have it like how I have it up there in the options. And plug in your phone. No, no, don't plug in your phone yet. So you're going to want to put your phone into recovery. I mean, into download mode. Right. To do that, you have to hold this volume down and this power button at the same time, and that'll take you to download mode. Okay, so I'm just going to cut it in here real quick before we continue on. This is the download. This is download mode. So I took this video after rooting so I could give you guys what it looks like and so you guys can actually read over it. So if you want, you can just pause it wherever you want. So you press up to continue, and then this is what some people call your flash something, I can't remember. But it's Odin mode, and it will tell you how many flashes you've had. So this is where what you want to reset if you're ever going to try turning in your phone. You can try without, but if they don't accept it, try doing a little hack. Plug it into your computer, and then you're going to have to accept it. So you're going to have to say, okay... I'll show a little video clip of this because, and actually no, I won't because I don't have it. I'll show it later in the bit. I'll record it later on and put it in so you can see what it looks like. So then you're going to have to hit. Now you're going to see that it has a little blue box right there, right, right here. And then once it's added, you're, you're going to press start and a bunch of code, well not code actually, but a bunch of stuff like that will pop up down there in the text box and just let it do a thing and then about take about five seconds and then it'll say pass once it's passed unplug it 
and take out your battery to get out of download mode. So once you do that, you, you have to do this right the first time. So then you hold this, you hold the power up, I mean the power, I mean the volume up and the power at the same time. And as soon as you see the blue word, now on the site it says green, they're blue. Unless I'm colorblind, which I might be, I highly doubt it though. You hold these two at the same time. And then once you see the words that says recovery booting, release. You have to do it right. If you don't do it right, if you hold it too long or you hold it not long enough, it's not going to work and you have to do the Odin process again, which is what I did. I did it wrong, which is why you learn from your mistakes. And that's why I'm doing this video. You have to learn and you have to do it right the first time or you're going to fail. And you're going to give up like my friend Eric did, who, who lives in California, which he watches me on YouTube, which is awesome. He has the same phone as well. So he tried rooting before me. He's awesome also. Welcome, Eric. So, uh, this is going to bring you up into this t team win recovery project. It's going to say twerp, and it's going to have a really cool looking boot. And then, it's this is only saying it because I've been waiting for so long. So then this will pop up. And after that, let's see. Now I don't know what to do after this. But you have to... By the way, you have to place the battery back in before you do that recovery thing like you have to before you do the volume up and then power because it obviously it won't boot without power okay so click install we're gonna click install up oops click install and then now you're gonna navigate to the place where the two files or listed, which I told you to put them in the root. You can put them in a folder if you wanted to. I just put them in the root. Um, now you have to install both of these, so this is touch awesome. And so they're going to be at the top, I assume. I don't see them. Oh, that's internal. Make sure you hit external. There you go. And should be here somewhere there they go they're right down there sorry out of focus can't really see you got your super your user and your busy box so now you're just going to press on that and you're going to hit and now you're just gonna okay now you're just gonna swipe so down here it says swipe to confirm and we're going to swipe, and, and, the zip install is complete. So now we're going to go to, we're not going to reboot yet. Now we're going to go back down, and we're going to find our super user. Press that, and then we're going to install that. You'll see our code, and you're going to see that little thing down. And zip install complete. Now we're going to, now that this, things were successful if they weren't you might want to retry again doesn't mean that you failed doesn't mean you did anything wrong it's not your fault it's it's just uh your phone just didn't want to install it correctly happens every so often happened to me of course especially with the triumph because i didn't understand anything at the time okay but now we're going to yeah so you want to select reboot system down here and it's, there we go. It's rebooting. It then ask us to confirm. That's weird. So be careful when you're doing that. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put the back back on. And Virgin Mobile Boot Animation. And. Now Android is upgrading, starting apps, and this is gonna, I don't know how long this is gonna take, so I'm just gonna stop the camera. Oh, wow, as soon as I stop the camera, it doesn't even update any apps, so that means we've, I guess that's sort of a sign that we did this correctly, or it could be a sign that I didn't, and of course, well, I'm perfect, but that's, that's for another video. So, 
here we go and our usual boot sequence is happening now and we should be rooted okay so after that point my sd card got filled up so i'm going to probably invest in a higher in a sd card with more gigabytes now after this since i don't want this happening again and i don't want to have to do this but the audio got cut off a bit because i needed to match it up but yes you are rooted now and if you go to root checker basic the app it will tell you that you're rooted unlike HTC devices so that's good there's no controversial discussion here about unlocking bootloaders so you're rooted you're good to go now go put on ROMs there's CM10 in development right now and there's also a kernel which I'm actually using red spot uncapped which I have overclocked to 1.5 gigahertz and it, it just blows away the quadrant standard scores you're getting it in the 5,000, a little over the mid 5,000s. So uh, that kernel is really great. So I'm going to have more videos on this phone for the rooting and all that stuff. So if you want to see more of that, you can just subscribe to my channel. And also, I, it would be awesome if you guys could like it and favorite it or whatever you guys want to do. Comment is also appreciated. So I'll see you next video, guys. Bye.